Like, the fuck you gonna tell me I'm not gonna be able to fish? And they had me have a fishing roll, a pole, and they had me throw uh, a lure back and forth in the kirka. That was heavy. And I did not understood. You don't understand that you're poisoned, that you completely, your body is totally poisoned. And you continue to do this, and you continue to do this. You're creating like a heavy duty physical injury to yourself because it's repeated. And as I stated, this is a stuff that went on for 25 years. You don't feel when you have sure. When you wear a shoe like this and somebody steps, hits you like this on the top, boom, like this. You don't feel nothing. He tells you, boom, step on your foot. That's because you did this and you did that. You drugged up, you don't understand anything what he's saying. And if you say, how are you going to fuck me? And what? You say, and what? I, and he will say to you, I just did to you. And he will laugh to you like this. I just did to you. It happened to me a million times during the okay, Ultra. Not once. It went on for 25 years. Oh. Police investigator, police officer from Novo Mesto took me always downhill, uphill. You're not going to be allowed to cut grass. You're not going to be allowed to cut grass. You have a big yard here. You're not going to be able to work on the field. You're not going to be able to work here. You're not going to be able to take care of the trees. You're not going to be able to do shit. How come? What the fuck you mean by this? Don't you remember that your foot has such an injury? Huh? That we did this to you? That we did this to you? That what do you, Don't you remember what we told you what's going to happen to you? So what? What? what how am I going to do? What, what are you saying? This... You're going to have to pay us. You're going to have to hire people. They're going to come. They're going to work for you. But you're never going to be allowed to do uh, work at home, uh, grow your trees, grow your uh, vegetation, whatever. Huh? This is the way it was. This is the way it is. This is the type of stuff we're talking about here. You're talking about the farmer people. I mentioned Senichar family. Such a nice people. Uh, they would always bring me in a, in a springtime when, when they would be growing uh, the crops, uh, corn and, and uh, you know, pšenica, oats, and, and when they would go and they would, they would, they would, before they would do the jeto, you know, it doesn't come to me right now, you know, when they would go and they would take care on the field everything they would collect and so on and and they would proudly stand next to me you know you know another beautiful season you know for a harvest tree you know a new corn a new this a new that you know we do this you know how is by the way your injuries how you know you see how we live we have children we multiply huh we we grow natural food, we eat healthy, uh, another season, more money, health, wealth. Nobody was more into psychiatry, nobody wanted on me, nobody was desperate for psychiatry, obsessed with psychiatric violence than the people from this village. Senators are a prime example of it. We here, uh, our crops, we live, we multiply, it's fantastic. This is the way it was for 25 years, if not more, probably more. Thirty-three years, not thirty. Thirty years, at least thirty years, I had to go and watch them, how they were enjoying themselves enjoying the fruit of their work, of their very productive and hard-working people. They are, as they are, such a fucking hard-working, good people. What a people here to have, boy. Beatings before, uh, during purchases of uh, field work machinery, 
uh, or uh, real estate or credits or jobs. This was just for the village here. Frequent, normal. Before they introduced me back into environment every time, they loaded me with anti-cancer drugs. Load, they fucking load you with anti-cancer drug. They give you dialysis, they load you with anti-cancer drug. They give you drugs. They um, clear your kidneys and your liver through the process of uh, they were using um, uh, feeding tubes how are those feeding tubes they were using once I started to threaten that I would start to uh, that I would start a hunger strike protest they would insert the feeding tubes through the nose through the nasal area down the throat and they would use them literally to harm inside of the home for elderly people where my father is now and they would use that to dehydrate heavily use the tubes to scratch uh, the area the throat the throat would be bleeding the throat would be uh, the throat what they did was it became inflated it was bleeding basically it, it's impossible to actually explain I could barely even swallow stuff inside of the home for elderly people they tied you to the bed like an animal and they start the kind of process yeah they load you force you to eat the food that is then good you go through the process, they clear you, so they rehabilitate you back to normal status and they introduce you back to the environment, use medications to re rehabilitate you. That's basically how that was. And this video clip is going to be used many times just to remind you of this, on why you don't detect this earlier, on why you don't have a capacity to act before you don't have a capacity to act anyway anything like this you're going to say the only thing that happens is ambulance vehicle comes to pick you up you don't have any capacity you don't have a capacity of any kind you have a capacity the only capacity you have basically is to take silently or be killed on the spot you are not going to be allowed to drive car with a manual transmission you remember and they would have me with the injured foot chronically inflicted foot poisoned push the pedal up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, even without the shoes. With excessive force pedal, clutch. We will allow you to drive the car, but we first have to see if you can uh, uh, use the clutch and this and that, and so that's how we went. So I told you how it all works. You're going to have to buy yourself a car with the automatic transmission, but it really, really threw me. Not with the manual gears, but with the automatic transmission. Pay attention that the shifting gear it's located on the left side of the pedal area. When you have the pedals, it's located on your left side. That's exactly the food they destroyed. Oi, oi. Uh, the injuries they inflicted on my left foot were such that in MTR challenges I could not walk. And one time I actually tasted for a few months in real time what it looked like for what police director Jana Zogolina referred to me as you're not going to be able to come up the stairs from the pain. Because it's the pain that goes through the entire foot all the way up to your knee. And these are facts. In the summertime, you're gonna have to wear stuff like this, heavy duty, with a strong this. Huh? For you to wear this, you're gonna have to get yourself. Uh, I did this because you can detach this, the wood part, yeah. I was instructed, encouraged to carve in a particular way, insert inside the shoe, and then walk to protect myself from any elements that would not puncture through, but uh, just to basically deform, cause, uh, and it works if you go on a floor that is not asphalt or something like this step, on a stone, it penetrates, the next thing you have, you are, uh, 
you, you are just it's it's you, you you can't even fucking walk and with a combination of the liver and kidney poisoning that injury whatever you have it just grows like this they even talked about amputating my foot and stuff like this if it would really work and so on and so forth not only cancer you will go to the store you will buy yourself a rod that has a rubber and you are going to glue here a rubber and you will put the desk inside or plastic and you will be able to use the shoe because we fucked you like this see i did it again but you're not allowed yeah this is basically the way it went also with the car with the toyota and lexus with japanese developing and started selling i don't know when it all started like in 2000 came to the very big interest to develop the cars that would be very very easy to turn like power assisted like really really easy to turn steering wheels saying to me that uh sometimes in 2000 and probably 10 fuck you will be capable to drive also the the car is just gonna have to be the kind of car like this and you have to buy yourself a car with a special armrest for the left side that where you can place your arm because of the injury that we can we have inflicted to you and you must never close your doors which they jam deliberately from the room from my room with your left hand but you always have to use the right hand so because the certain moves they were doing to me they were having me pull this door handle or like a pedal or doing this kind of stuff they were getting like a chronic injuries it's a chronic injury this is the same shit they told me like they gave me an example like you have uh, a pipe dripping on your water for i don't know how long night and day it actually creates an injury just that this kind of stuff is worse method yerman is a really professional and he was in this butcher is involved probably for 30 years his butchers did go on for 30 years because he was already 91 in 92 that the russians performed did i said 91 92 I was a Slovenian independence in 91-92. Oh fuck. They performed this shit on me already in year 89 probably. Because I started boxing way earlier. That's why I know. That this shit was done already in probably, I don't know. Maybe even 89-90. Maybe something like a year after I started. In Moscow. Imagine, uh, yeah, the people from... It was American dealers. It was... People from Toyota, from Lexus, that watch this stuff, uh, they were like in a total disbelief about what the fuck went on. Would you believe that your home element can be the element of Cyril in method, you know, Cyril in method, this here, this great Slavic, Slavuiko, huh? that you're gonna happen to to get into this kind of mental sickness like this that your life is gonna twist into the stuff like this here did you believe this stuff that, that this is what's gonna happen yeah it all started at age four i'm gonna say i'm gonna repeat this to united nations maybe even earlier i did indicate it here to you um i did indicate it here to united nations something that um i am taking this as a as a most serious i'm taking this as a most most serious threat to me from United Nations it is after all to me totally totally the same as it was uh, for elections in uh, Slovenia uh, I cannot agree that for United Nations that you have accepted Slovenia into Security Council I am horrified with your decision Security Council of United Nations in the 24 and in 25 I'm totally, totally horrified with your decision. I do not even, under absolutely any kind of circumstances, will attempt to understand your decision at the United Nations for you to have done something like this. This is about the same thing, like you would go to, uh, on elections in Slovenia, a country which is entangled in a genocide, which goes on already, which they have inherited from the greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. And it goes on already for 48 years, of which no less than 33 years in a so-called independent Slovenia. So that you have gone and do talking to United Nations, did something like this, that you granted Slovenia a security council position 
for the year 24 and 25, 2024, 2025, is about as disgusting as it gets. And from my end, uh, exactly the same thing as I refer to the top of the page to Slovenian elections. It's illegitimate, it is illegal, it is criminal. Not have United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch uh, sponsored crime against me directly. Beginning in 1995, on behalf of British royals, on behalf of Washington DC, the United States of America, which citizen I became in 2000. Uh, but that you have taken step like this here, uh, this is this actually really really horrifies me that you have taken step like this against me without. <laughs> Do you know who this lady in red is? This is the lady who was involved directly in genocide against me beginning in 1995, and she's sitting at United Nations applauding to genocide. That's basically how I view United Nations as. I was told that the Belarus is going to be out and the opportunity is going to be used to admit my case, to recognize my case, but I am also here to tell you that I do not recognize United Nations as such as United Nations, but instead as a criminal organization. And for what you have done, attempted to brainwash me, to see you as a legitimate organization through the swift acts of genocide, yes, this lady in red was inside of this house during MK Ultra and have together with Ban Ki-moon tortured with United Nations representatives, with the Serbs, with the Russians, they tortured on this issue. And this is the issue I should have actually even embraced on behalf of Joe Biden, who also demanded from me exactly for what I stated. I condemn you for this. There'll be, there'll be repercussions, there'll be retaliation for this, talking to United Nations. I do not recognize you as a human rights organization. I recognize you as an ultimate not discrimination, but a genocide tool in this world. There will be repercussions for this. I do not recognize Slovenia as a sovereign nation, as a sovereign state. It says right here at the top of this page, it says, how can you go on elections in Slovenia when you have actually 48 year old case, genocide case against the native in Slovenia, still in process? How can you attend? How can you go and vote for your representatives? As such, I do not recognize Slovenia as a sovereign nation, as a sovereign country. As a such, I, because of this act here, I do not recognize United Nations as a human rights agency, but instead as an ultimate genocide tool of the British who have, in fact, contract with Vladimir Putin and vice versa since the times of the Soviet Union, since the post-World War II period, to assist one another in need. Progress, their agenda, their view on the world, through the mutual cooperation, through the if necessary, acts of genocide. This genocide goes on against me for 48 years. This genocide started against me through the family known as Tatalovici. This is a city of the Novo Mesto. I zoom myself into one. And I am right here. It's called Daragoska this year. H4, maybe even H3, I do not know. I was delivered to this location here. Which building is, I do not know. I would uh, assume that would be somewhere here, like this. And it was a care for the children. It was a private care for the children, which is actually not a private care for the children. This care for the children belonged to the Yugoslav National Military Army, or I should say Greater Serbian Chetnik State Military. This was the resident, residence of Notorious Tatalovici. The Tatalovic family was originally from Croatian Kutina.
I am disgusted that uh, Ban Ki-moon at United Nations again played a crucial uh, role in causing me so many problems against, that he again intensified the genocide against me, that he was the one who took again the Korean, the South Korean Ban Ki-moon because of his involvement since 1995. It's horrific that this individual would not give up. This is a Kutina here that you see in Croatia. But these people were Serbs. They were Serbs. What is it demonstrated me that? I do not know for. This dot here. Yena Yugoslovenska Narodna Armia was a military which belonged to colonial Serbian force which occupied several republics throughout the Balkans with their consignment, with their agreement. I don't know why they are presenting one like this and not for what it was. The Yena'a was exactly what I'm about to tell you here and nothing more than this. And uh, it just happened so that Tatalovich Milan, his name, is, his name was Milan, they both died. As much as the neighbors here, like uh, Miroslav Berger uh, and Igor Kota and other people involved in this stuff, claimed that he had nothing to do with it, that in fact it was nothing to be blamed upon this family, this Tatalovich family. They are located about 350 meters from our house in the city of the Novo Mesto. This is where our house was before. In the city of the Novo Mesto. This not very high ranking Yugoslav Serbian, a real Serbian. This was a, such a Chetnik that you would not, this was more Chetnik, this individual was more Chetnik than Draža Mihailović. This individual was more Chetnik than Aleksandar Vucic, he was more Chetnik than Milosevic or Karadžić were Chetniks. And those are pronounced as a war criminals in Haag. They would deliver me to these people here, into this resident for early child care. Right behind this uh, building of theirs. However, there is a kindergarten right behind one. You see? Vertex Tsitsiban, Novo Mesto. You see this? Four minutes from their residence. It's a Tsitsiban. That's a public, that was a public kindergarten. So from this special child care, which this Yugoslav military officer have provided, it was, um, how can I say, designed for me to attend a special a kindergarten class. They had this class inside of the kindergarten, and the Yugoslav National Army selected me to attend a special class inside of this special Tsitsiban kindergarten in the Novo Mesto. This was like something like a Gestapo, like a SS, or let's say Stasi, or let's say, uh, well, actually this was worse, because the goal here was to murder the native people in Slovenia, yeah? So, uh, the Belgrade Ljubljana selected for me to attend a special kindergarten class, yes? And, uh, that's basically the way it was. Now, a little bit more about the Tatalovic, for whom the neighbors here claimed Tatalovic, uh, claimed that he was not, that he was, they were not involved in it and they were okay. Yeah, they were okay. But he was recognized by Americans, even by the British royals, as somebody whom they have repeatedly encountered inside of the Moscow. He claimed that he was not, that was not. And this, tra uh, this individual, the Serb, traveled with me to the Moscow on the plane and started MK Ultra, participated MK Ultra also in the Moscow. He became an escort to Moscow. He wanted to know, see, and participate during the Soviet Union in genocide against me also in the Moscow. So the bad luck kept following me. The first time I was subjected to MK Ultra was at least age four, if not even younger. So the stuff like this that I see, this, 
this stuff that I see here. I will only say one thing to you. The police will not investigate this case without my supervision. Actually, I will be the one who will investigate with police assistance this. And the police failed to investigate this for 48 years. They engaged in genocide against me, yeah? The people I mentioned here were the police officers, many, and entire Nova Mesto police was involved in this genocide. It goes the same to the United Nations. I am going to deliver you police in there. And we'll investigate whoever participated in genocide against me beginning 1995. Consider every one of you one by one. I don't give a fuck about your Belarus, Russia, this and that, and we're gonna this and that. You failed. You failed to resolve this case. You failed as a human rights agency and have fully proven yourself to be nothing other than a genocide institution. Totally qualified genocide extermination for the extermination purposes, so-called human rights organization. It goes the same thing to the Human Rights Watch and it goes the same thing to the Amnesty International, which every one of them have used me as a torture, also to penetrate and portray certain human rights issues through this case and so on, obtain funds and so on. Well, from me, you, just that you know, from me, never ever, you are going to receive a thank you or me signing any kind of document to you till I personally investigate you thoroughly and proceed to punish you according to the laws which I want to know exactly in your state, in your country, wherever you are from, how, who, where, what. You understand? That's how we're gonna do it. I am rather dead than receive any kind of recognition, any kind of anything from you. Do you understand that? That is a better option, it always was, than aligning myself to you. For eight, 48 years. This individual was the one who claimed me so many times that he would just kill me. If it wasn't for his daughter, Nevenka, whom accidentally somehow I liked. He just, she just appealed to me, and that's how this individual, Milan, left me alive, basically. This is how my life was. I did not receive thousand death threats from this individual probably over the years. I received more than hundred at least. And he was a psychopath. He was mentally ill, like for fucking really ill. Like came like this, inches. He had a gun and everything. Really qualified to kill me. Old man, crazy man. Sick. Physically also ill. That came fucking inches from actually killing me. So this is a good reason that people said, you got more lives than cat does. And when I said, kill me, British have absolutely everything to do with it. They used the United Nations, they used all these things to do nothing other than to deepen, deepen, deepen crisis, create emergencies, and use all kinds of tools to destroy me, to rip me apart. <laughs> At all costs. So, when I say to you, H4, I am being very, very generous. Um, Yeah, his son, I think, Boris, uh, I think that he even became a police officer. And then there was Alish, who was uh, a few years younger than myself, who also participated in this thing. Man, uh, this is a, such a fucking disgrace that the world that learned about the Auschwitz and about the Dachau, which, just like a serial and method, were used against me in exactly, exactly the same fashion. Can you imagine that my both sides of my parents were dying, basically? for the world to be liberated from the Nazism, from the fascism, and that, in fact, the grandson would fall prey to the liberated world? Can you possibly imagine this? And I have to ask you, what exactly was the purpose of establishing the United Nations, huh? Can you, at United Nations, explain to me why were you established and what exactly, what is the purpose, what purpose exactly do you serve? Because my case is 48 years old, and I'm more and more and more mentally ill. Is this how you want to present United Nations as? Huh? Is this is what you want United Nations to come up to? You want this from United Nations? Okay. You know what? You're going to get United Nations. You will get United Nations. You will be recognized. You will be recognized just as I recognized Slovenia. Slovenia should not be on the map of the nations. 
Slovenia is not a sovereign state and Slovenia is not a sovereign nation. Slovenia is a hostile country and Slovenia is a hostile nation against the native Slovenian people. So you, the United Nations, are a tool which is being used in my case for no less than 48 years with sole intention to murder, to exterminate without the trace. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, the idea that I would not have a capacity to actually drive the car, turn the wheels. And the other day, boy, I did feel the pain here. And I thought about this stuff. I thought about this stuff about what the police officer afterwards was telling me. He said, if you feel pain here, if it comes to the pain that you're going to feel pain here in this area, that you know that you have to go to physician, to a doctor. It's true. It's bad. Uh, it's very bad. Uh, it's, uh, it was surveillanced. It was monitored. They have United Nations uh, representatives uh, engaged in a torture against me. They would poison me. They would distribute me to Asia. They would distribute me to South America. They would distribute me to Africa, to the Russia, uh, to the Mideast, to the United States of America and for. And they would not allow me to sleep. And uh, they would just harrow. You know what harrow means? Okay. For those of you that have a difficulty understanding the expression harrow. This here basically is... A synonyms. What I am displaying you basically is what I was prompted to display you. That's what I was told that this is basically by the people involved in it that I have to go and use this exact expression, Haro. You know, when you sleep deprive somebody, he's poisoned, he's got injuries, and you are intensifying those injuries through the torture, through the torment that went on for 48 years, and you don't allow a person to sleep, and you made him walk, and you death threaten, and you push him, and you punch him, and you spit him, and you do that kind of stuff at the United Nations. That's called harrowing, for instance. That's called harrowing. Evidently, the United Nations do not understand any of this. Evidently, Ban Ki-moon does not understand. Guterres, Antonio Guterres does not understand. British were the ones they appointed Guterres in 1995. Would become United Nations commissioners is another reason why I will never recognize United Nations. Most likely never recognize United Nations. Beyond assassination tool, beyond extermination tool, in hands of imperials, in hands of the Russians, imperials who have contract with one another, why I will never recognize you beyond what I stated? United Nations were more than just a tool for torture. United Nations had from the line of physicians, numerous physicians involved in it, who closely have monitored the progress of chronic damage to my body closely have monitored ability of my body to respond cancer and injuries they developed together actually monitoring through slovenian police were developing together i came to terms that many in the united nations do not understand the meaning of the four-year child and i might have been a younger than four years old when delivered into this home of the UNA officer, Milan Tatalovic. I might have been a younger. This is what a four-year-old child looks like. The four-year-old weighs about 40 pounds and is about 40 inches tall. About 90 centimeters. At four years old, average is at 36 pounds, and it's about one meter tall. I don't know how much this tells you at United Nations, but it tells me that I was guilty because I was born. I was guilty.
to the Serbs, to the Russians, because I existed, because I was born. But I don't know how much issues such as this one here present to the United Nations. Probably really, really considering the laughter of Antonio Guterres, of Ban Ki-moon. I have no idea how much Ban Ki-moon laughed in my face. Ban Ki-moon engaged in genocide with Guterres against me beginning in 1995. And I will never put out of my head with a coffee Annan with other United Nations bosses, their laughter, their discern for my existence in my face, basically. Giving me only one input is, you're a dead walking man without any chance to bail yourself out, you're destined to be dead. With a big smile all over the face, with a big smile all over the face, and this, not years passed. Not that years would pass by, not that decades, it turned to almost five decades. But as the genocide progressed, the more torment, the more harrowing was done to me, the more and more I was guilty to them to be alive. What the United Nations presents at child slavery, I do not know. But this is a totally different issue. This is an issue involving ethnic cleansing which no Slovenian politician ever was willing to discuss. After all, they were all involved in one, including with the people that represented Slovenian independence movement. But to be guilty to be alive, to be guilty to be born, is a little bit more than a child slavery, a kidnapping of the children. Trade with the children, if anything could even be worse, it goes beyond exploitation. It goes into the area of the village people that surround me. Of which many came here without absolutely nothing in their pockets and started to build houses around us. And to whom many of them anticipated upon my disappearance, disappearance of the family, would they just have to make a crossing of the street to move inside of our home and take over from there. So I don't know how much United Nations understand this issue, but I do understand one. I know what United Nations is, I know what kind of club that is, I know what they serve, I know what they're doing there, I know what they're doing in there. And I'm not about to let it go. Justice to state of Israel, anti-Semitism is a main business, a main branch of work, a main money maker. It's where the cash, it's where the money is coming from, yes. Not only to the state of Israel, but to a Jewish community in the United States of America, which was so deeply involved in it without giving me absolutely any choice, any chance for survival, desperately have supported and attempted to destroy me, have supported absolutely anything indifferent is the United Nations. Anti-Semitism exists. I know so because it's a main business of the state of Israel. It's the main business of the Jewish population in the United States of America. It's an industry bigger than a General Motors today. And it does not pertain only to the Israel, nor to the Jewish community around the world. It pertains to the nations which claim were at stake during the World War II, whose existence was at stake during the World War II. And it's sad to note, yet, that they are engine at the United Nations, what I have stated. I would not be stressing issues like this to you, but as you might possibly imagine, since I was four years old, used like this, to grow up into a child that would have to, on a daily basis, face up to 10 children or more in a physical confrontation, entire class, storm on me on a violence, supervised by the teacher, and this would go all the way to the military service I have described, when I would have soldiers pointing rifles at me, I would not stress issues like this. But since the British royals were desperate to get me into the psychiatric hospital in 2013, beginning in 2010, it's time to recognize I am simply mentally ill. And so I am giving you another proof about my mental illness, like this. Like this. Now you know what my complaint is going to be about. It's going to be about mental illness. Because the world today we live in, this is all about mental health, isn't it? We have so many professionals, we have so many human rights organizations, we have police, we have all these things. Yet what exactly do we see? <laughs> we see that a parties that were involved in resistance against the Nazism, do, they're not very selective within this anti-Semitism industry which took off totally after the World War II. When watching for a four-year-old what it looks like 
what exactly the four-year-old looks like. I can't help but to come across this picture here. This was the picture, I don't give it even, I don't care when they post this picture at all. I don't even care when this article was written, but this here by the Google, or might have been, who knows, maybe, it's this year in the 2016, so this is not disputable. Uh, you know, they also used pictures and stuff of the internet before they even published the news and such and stuff, okay? But that's connected to the Google search engine and nothing in this world is more corrupt than a Google. Nothing is more corrupt than Google. Nothing is more corrupt than YouTube. Then, you know, they are using a YouTube, a Google as a main genocide platform, internet platform to erase, to murder people, basically. Nothing is more corrupt than Google. Nothing is more corrupt than YouTube. If you want the total misinformation, all you have to do basically is use a Google search. This picture was presented to me, okay, let's say in 2015. I wouldn't even care saying 2015. But I know it was this picture because it says here, Earth Day, Earth Day, Earth Day, Earth Day. They told me like this, they told me. United Nations representative used Slovenian side. Actually, to be honest, they kind of protested against this stuff. They, they, they had them. When you will mention the four year old, yeah? What exactly that means? That means that United Nations also knew about Tatalovic, yeah? The United Nations officials also knew about the Tatalovic family. They knew about the Yugoslav army Tatalovic Serb. They knew absolutely everything about their heads. Of course, audio recordings, I was bugged. Eavesdropping was used through me. The United Nations, it appears, knew that this case started at age four, and at me at age almost 52, I have given you the ability to go back in time when drugged up for the first time in life at age four. I did not make absolutely any mistake. This was meant for the age four. Uh, Slovenian side stated to me if you are going to depict uh, this uh, is no good if you are going to depict this is okay because it's Chinese because it's Asian if you are going to depict this is okay is not okay okay so so if you are going to depict this is good if you are going to depict let's see what else this is exactly what they have used. And if you're going to depict this, this is the best. And then at the same time, they had people pushing down throat on me. Do not, two more issues. One was, do not compare this to the British royal kids. Do not do this under any circumstances, you know, they have children and these children one time were also four years, four years old, you know, even that William was trying to mislead on age eight and such a stuff desperately. Do not compare to this because they're going to see you that you try to see yourself in the royals and the stuff like this and that. Okay, now if you do this, and then this is a plus and so on. Now, the second thing I was going to finish this was for me to keep silent about issues such as anti-Semitism related, anything that will have to do with complaints against people of color. United Nations or anything like this, do not, do not, do not, do not. Why? 
Well, it's because that's the issue that expands into some other area. It expands into the issue of Donald Trump. It expands into a well calculated issue between uh, the Turkey and between the Sweden. And it expands further into a well calculated news, which was published today. This also was involved. This was the news they brainwashed. Um, this was the news in respect to Nigel Farage. And to the hell with it. We're just going to do it faster if we... No, oh, it's actually going to be alright. We can use this one here. It's the news here I have published below. It's the news related to... Uh, in, in many ways to the Nigel Farage. Yeah, because... Nigel Farage in this beautiful article where they complain about how in the United Kingdom it is certain people uh, are treated in a worse ways than you know people who commit murder and so on um, by the banks by the banking institutions and such you know in a way they promoted banking institutions through the view of the royals, like it's, it's royals that are politically so correct that people who say anything against the system, uh, not against the system, because I, this is a very, very wrong word I have uh, used right now. That's very, very, that's that's a very, very bad word I have used right now. The system is basically what the, what the neo-Nazis are using. It's a commonly adopted word by the Nazis, by the fascists, basically, in the Western part of the world. They call it the system against the system and then they systematically are using their democracy or I should say in this case royal constitutional democracy if there is a such a thing democracy is but I don't know about royal constitutional democracy it has the British royal refail to themselves uh, to demonstrate us what a democracy is, you know? And uh, like for this item here, for instance, I was suggested on how this stuff here on the top that I should not mention, but when it comes to the Nigel Farage that I should mention, this is all fabricated by West media through which which was involved in uh, MK Ultra brainwash and through which uh, British royals uh, as well as United States of America, uh, Western part of the world, like let's say Sweden, uh, are trying to portray themselves to the world uh, as you know, a democratic portion of society. It was not uncommon, it was actually frequent, this stuff. If I go back to a Sweden and Turkey issue, for me to have, um, in this case, like let's say, and I did that, I, I just did it for the different reason. They probably did not understood me, but it was it was a common practice during MK Ultra for the news like this to uh, to pressure forward. Of course, the Turkey is not guilty in absolutely any way. Turkey has to defend its interests. Turkey was assaulted throughout many different issues, absolutely through many different issues, and. One of the issues that bothers me tremendously in respect to assaulting Turkey is the fact that it was assaulted based on simply defending the right of the Ukrainian people to exist against a much bigger adversary which hunted that already for centuries, you know? Uh, and so I, I felt that 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 using the issues that were implicated in MK Ultra uh, to literally extort Turkey on the brink of something that one should never give away, like if you go back to the issue that is gonna is gonna be stuff like this that I stated is gonna be used to promote Donald Trump and so on. Let's just fucking read of that stuff because this is exactly what I am not here for. I am not here to. Uh, lambast anybody for the sake of neo-nazism or fascism or something like this. I'm here just so that the people that are implicated in this stuff 
and I don't mind going from person to person at the United Nations who participated since 1995 to see who did what. This uh, per, uh, uh, job, the work that I do, by the way, this is just related to something else. It's just related so that the institution that called that referred itself as United Nations would serve its purpose. You know, because my grandparents from both sides of the family were dying for this. They give people from both sides of our family gave lives that some of them died for the ideals of United fucking nations. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? I'm not doing this for Donald Trump or for the Nigel Farage uh, or do I fear in absolutely any way of, uh, let's say, NATO Secretary Stoltenberg, a Norwegian uh, who told me that I have to side actually to look politically correct against him even uh, against even his uh, flag against his flag against the Finnish flag and stuff like this these are the people that teach me to be politically correct but you know the thing about all this stuff is something else there's a bigger problem behind this stuff when you teach somebody who is coming from the family like this, especially when I consider the degree of crime you have committed yourself against me, you are cluster fucking the whole system, but you're never gonna cluster fuck me. You understand? Because I owe to nobody other than myself. I owe to my beginnings to where I am from. I'm not Norwegian, and I don't want to be Norwegian. I'm not interested in being Norwegian. I was not even welcome in Norway. When you have Norwegians talking to you that it's the flag, their flag that looks like a Nazi swastika, and you, you should compare one, and you have a Finnish Nazi flag, basically, that they have just removed one from the circulation, I think, yeah, they, they dropped one down. However, all these issues were conditioned to me, you know, they were politi politically correct, but they demanded, you know, the British royals, in other words, demanded from me to remain loyal to the Nazi swastika. Do you remember when I told you that they demanded from me to give my medals from my grandfather away and then so that they would have different medals ready for me and that kind of stuff and if you think about the article right there that it was about the British banks and then Nigel Farage like a righteous person or through they finance as a good constitutional monarchy both sides and Farage and banks and that's how they portray us the system that's what i that's now what i can call a system that's not now when i explain all that stuff if i refer to the system that's okay we can refer to this now as a system yeah so when they demand from you like fiends did for instance if you will talk against this if you will be like this then we will drop the nazi symbol and stuff like that actually threatening you they're not going to demonstrate to you that they video record them themselves next to the nazi symbol threatening you like joe biden did for some american military installations that they would drop nazi signs and stuff like this they demonstrate you that other side they demonstrated the site when they filmed themselves next to you telling you that you should compare Norwegian flag to the Nazi flag. They, uh, they, they, do, do you understand what I'm talking about? The people who have person drugged up in hands absolutely do have control over one. But the ultimate control against one is delivered through United Nations. From the beatings which went on through my teenage years throughout the schooling, military service and so on, it was a time for the forced unemployment after the world to take a place, yeah? So under no circumstances am I trying to go left or right for the Nazism and fascism issues that just doesn't apply to me. 
I don't actually have anything to do with it. This is somebody else that grew this type of stuff. This is somebody else that this mental case, if you like, this madness, if you like, psychiatry, having my father, elderly father, 91, who committed so much crime against me, uh, death over there in, in inside of the hope for elderly people cannot fucking hear me, uh, but can actually do stuff, whatever he gets through the cochlear's implants or whatever the police is using to transmit him a message so that he could somehow prove his case, actually case of British royals. You know, the case of madness, I don't owe anybody for fuck's sake any kind of explanation uh, on why the hell am I doing this in respect to United Nations and you know this scare, the Turkey scare that if you will talk about if you will if you will go and you will do this it's gonna be and not it wasn't Turkey only it was Asia it was China it was many countries that started to scare that if you will do this they're gonna they're gonna push the other side forward and this and that they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna favor again Trump and they're gonna favor this one and they're gonna favor that one Believe me, trust me, a Donald Trump is a dung. And Donald Trump, however, is not mine. But it's your mistake. It's you who have created Donald Trump. Unless you believe that four years old that was kidnapped, hijacked to the Russia for torture. To the Serbia for torture, as a six years old to Russia for torture, to Moscow, to Belarus and so on, unless you believe that this guy, this little kid had his agenda on his mind, like an evil agenda against the world basically to crush as it British royals are misinterpreting together with some western allies my news to United Nations. You, this I'm doing so that United Nations can once and for all become United Nations. So they can either serve their purpose or go to the fuck with it. Because it's better to have none uh, than something that doesn't exist. Maybe if we had none, we would at least have some governments and people that would think openly uh, and would you know, expose this thing. They would, they would, you know, I, I can't think of anything worse than assembly of so many nations in which so many nations would be just afraid to speak their mind about something they even knew it started at age four. Isn't that totally, totally disgusting? It's not that I don't see myself in these children. It's just a proof that United Nations through it all literally knew about the Tatalovic. They knew more even than what I anticipated. That kind of a sucks.